Hi, this is Eric Bjornstad, uh, bringing you another edition of the Bell Performance video blog. And today we're going to do a little bit of a switch up from talking about the inevitable ethanol issues. Today we're going to talk about diesel fuel. Uh, more specifically, uh, this issue that's arising where people who use large volumes of diesel fuel are finding that they're having uh, more and more often they're having problems with bacteria and microbes growing in their fuel tanks. Now, as a driver, you may not think that uh, this is of much concern to you, but uh, this is a concern for gas station operators um, and fleets. And the more that these people have to spend on taking care of this problem, well, unfortunately, that cost as, a, as an operating cost get, tends to get passed along to consumers like us. Um, a uh, quick primer on the history of diesel fuel. Uh, up until, I want to get my dates right, but we'll say uh, up until the mid-90s, uh, you could have uh, the amount of sulfur that was available in diesel fuel was uh, typically capped at about 5,000 parts per million, which, if my math is right, is about half a percent of the volume of the fuel. Um, they passed uh, environmental regulations in the 90s, one of the things that that mandated was that they start taking the sulfur out of the diesel fuel. So they chopped uh, a whole bunch of the sulfur out, probably about, I don't know, about 90% of it, and they went from 5,000 to 500. Um, they called it low sulfur diesel fuel. Then, in 2006-2007, they passed another rule. They chopped that 500 parts per million of sulfur down to 15 and called that ultra-low sulfur diesel. Now, taking sulfur out of diesel fuel makes it better for the environment. When you burn diesel fuel, the sulfur is not consumed in the engine. It gets passed out of the tailpipe. Uh, and unfortunately, uh, it, uh, at least it used to, go straight out into the air where you get sulfur dioxide and sulfur trioxide gases made and those would condense uh, with water to form acid rain and not very good situation for the environment. Well, um, you got a reduction down to 15 parts per million of sulfur and at first you say, great, it's great for the environment, you know, what's the problem? Well, um, sulfur... Uh, did a couple of different things in diesel fuel which were good things for how that fuel functioned in the truck or rather in the engine. Um, sulfur acted as a natural lubricant. As soon as they reduced sulfur down they started seeing you know wear um, for fuel pumps and injectors um, and, and that was kind of a problem so they started uh, people like Bell Performance came out with lubricity additives to try and restore some of that lubricating quantity, or excuse me, lubricant quality that was seen uh, in the diesel fuel by the sulfur before. Well, uh, now people aren't so wor so much worried about uh, lubricity as they are about microbes and bacteria growing in the fuel. And uh, why that's relevant is that uh, in addition to imparting lubricity, one thing that sulfur did was it acted as a natural disinfectant, so to speak, it, a natural uh, retardant for bacterial growth. Uh, sulfur is, is uh, for lack of a better way of putting it, sulfur is toxic to many kinds of bacteria. Not all of them. There are some kinds of bacteria that actually uh, like to consume sulfur, but by and large, Sulfur uh, inhibits the growth of bacteria and mold and fungi that otherwise would love to grow in, in diesel fuel. Uh, so these gas stations, these fleet operators, they may have these 10,000 gallon tanks and uh, these 10,000 gallon tanks uh, tend to, you know, they accumulate water over the course of normal operation. That's just the fact of life. And anywhere that there's water, there's going to be bacteria that's, and fungus that's going to start forming in the fuel. You take the sulfur out, suddenly you have uh, nothing in there that's going to keep this from happening, and you have an explosion in the rates of uh, uh, bacterial microbial infestation of these fuel tanks. And when that happens, um, you can add a biocide, like uh, Bell Performance makes one called Bellicide, and... Uh, biocides are powerful, you know, they're, they're, they're really powerful, you know, essentially pesticides for, for, for fuel, and they kill the bacteria, but uh, sometimes you have to, you, you still have to clean the tank out, and that's expensive, um, and it's generally a big hassle. So, um, that's just kind of a, a little primer on what's happening out in the diesel fuel market. 
Um, ultra low sulfur diesel is great for the environment. Uh, unfortunately, taking the sulfur out has consequences, like many things, and uh, greater instances, uh, greater problems with uh, bacteria and fungus growing in the diesel fuel and storage tanks um, is just something that seems to go with the territory. So thanks for joining me today at the Bell Performance video blog, and we will see you next time.